me. It's me. Um, I, I just got to work today. Uh, I promised I'm going to make enough money so Liza can go on that trip. I know I don't really follow through with my promises and all that, but you can, you can trust me this time. I, I promise. Listen, Brian. Stop calling here. I don't care if you get the money or not. You mess this up too many times. So just send the check my way or I won't let you call her anymore either. Okay, just, just tell Liza I love her. Go away, Brian.
scumbag dialer trying to make a cheap buck. Hello? Hi, I'm Smith. It's very nice to meet you. Do you mind if I take some of your time? Listen, tonight? man, do you have anything better to do? Like, seriously, dude, you spend all of your time in a fake job. Do you even have a real life? Oh my god, you people are so annoying! Listen, never call me here again. Got it?
What on earth are you doing, man? I give you the key to success. You have the number right there. You're so close. And you... I, I can't do this. This, this job, this, this everything, this... That dial tone isn't for me. I'm so sorry to rush here so quickly, but my mommy and sync alarm went off. Well, it's a good thing you decided to get her checked out. Should we be sitting down for this, Doc? Why don't you both take a seat? <clears throat> it appears that April has a defect in her heart, and it's been possible it's been present since birth. But it's been undetectable until now. So what if all this time to be detectable now? Has anything in your lifestyle changed lately? Extreme dieting, smoking, and exercising all in this home. Yeah, I, I started a video of this class with my mom six months ago. That can definitely trigger something like this, and you have no way of knowing. Okay, so what are the options, the treatment? Well, based on the battery test we've given her, the rate of deterioration is severe. And at her heart being as wicked it is, at her age now, it's only going to degenerate. The only viable option is a transplant. I don't understand. Sorry. I wish I had better news. James! What? Phone away! Hun, where are you going? Don't worry. I'm not running away because my mom won't let me on my phone. I'm just going across the street to see if Amazon delivered my package to the wrong house. Ugh. They never get it right now, do they? Thank <laughs> you. 
I have a daughter here too. Oh, yeah, she has a heart thing. I'm so sorry. But anyways, um, my daughter, April, needs a transplant, and my son's going to wake up. Well, they didn't say that exactly, but they said there's too much chance. He's not gone. At least I can't imagine what you're going through. I understand that you're holding out hope. Believe me, that's all I've been doing regarding April, but according to the doctors, his organs are healthy. His heart is... He's staying in one piece. I'm sorry, but I don't think I find it completely appropriate for you, a woman who I met two minutes ago, to be even speaking to me about my son. Your phone case is coming tomorrow. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience.
<laughs> Lead actor needed. The man, a Scorsese film. Martin Scorsese is making a movie and he needs someone to play the main guy. That could be me. First person on set tomorrow is getting this job. Martin Scorsese wouldn't do this to get an actor. He'd just bring up De Niro or something. This, this is clearly a scam. This is God answering my prayers, Dad. Do not say the Lord Stephen King. You're sleeping in the talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but fine. Let us think tomorrow. But I'm telling you to waste your time. What are you doing? That's going in my Oscar speech when I talk with everyone who doubted me. <laughs> I'm one of them. Fine. <laughs> says that if I wake up at 3.30 this morning, I'll get there by 5 a.m. Perfect. This is it. Excuse me, am I at the right lot? Are you here for the roll? Yes, I prepared a piece for my audition. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, my name is Will Lee, and I'll be playing Joyce Byers from Stranger Things. <laughs> Will? <laughs> Will? <laughs> Will! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> something to show that I'm worthy of this part? Oh, no, 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 no. Mr. Scorsese doesn't require any of that. Congratulations, you got the part. All right. So, where's the big man? Where's Mr. Scorsese? <laughs> Calls it. I don't know if what he's doing is legal either. When he moved to Hollywood from Ross 
Austria. I knew it. He was trying to get the last team from to score Sadie to gain any little bit of relevance he could muster. The script is a disaster, too. I honestly wouldn't blame you if you left. Go home and have someone call the cops for Go home to your wife. Tell me what you think. Because if you want to stay on the school burn physical specimen of a man who has to you, you gotta change your life. Lucy, I need to know right now where is my breakfast? My apologies, sir. I'm just about to go get them. Lucy! <laughs> I tell you for a millionth time, <laughs> the day is not possible when I don't have my croutons. <laughs> <laughs> sir, wouldn't it be better to have some protein? No, Lucy, croutons is all I need. <laughs> right away. <laughs> is it Paul? Yes, it's Paul. What you want? <laughs> uh, well, there are a few things I need to get out of the way before we start. Number one, my name is Will Lee, and I really need a script. Number two, it's 5 a.m. and we're the only two people here. What kind of time are we running on? Is Polly time? <laughs> Let me everything fall into place. Second, here is script. <laughs> We shouldn't for okay? Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you very much for you. Welcome, ha ha. There's no one here. The man, a Scorsese film. Okay. Jump into the mystical world of Frotham City, where crime vigilante. Man bat saves the day in every <laughs> wacky corner. Paul, who am I playing? You to play man bat. <laughs> <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> oh, head on my snicker doodle. <laughs> You were right. 
It didn't work out. <laughs> I told you. Come on, I'm home. Well, I'm make some food and watch a movie. Sound good? Yeah. Actually, yeah, it, it does. And well, you're enough. You don't want me to be famous for me or for the family. What we have now, it's enough. I guess it is. See you soon. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, did you finish that PowerPoint boss for your mess assign us yet? Got your work done! <laughs> right now! <laughs> I missed it! Uh, I missed it. Do you do your work, please? <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you? Of course I did, Stuart. You cannot talk to my grandparents that way! My god, woman, like, can you Go please ahead, stop? Thomas! Huh? Go ahead, tell me to shut up. See what happens. You know <coughs> what happens. See what happens. Yeah, you what? know what happens. <laughs> oh, what, Patricia? You know what, Patricia? You are insane! <laughs> Once. 
Pascal. Wait a second!
got to be kidding me. You mean to say that I'm not being allowed entry because of something I did when I was 10? Jane worked really hard on that picture, you know? She cried for a whole hour after she discovered what you did. So that's it? No, no, there's more. Another example, when you were 12. Hey guys, look what my mom got me for my birthday. Is it the deluxe car set? I've been asking for about a year now. Isn't it cool? Tag, you're it. Hey guys, I want to play.
She, even though it ended up happening to her. What do you mean? She didn't talk to me for a year. I got what I deserved. It was sad, and I'm still sorry about it, but I learned my lesson. Well, her parents obviously found out about the picture once the school got a hold of it. What you didn't know is that her father was an alcoholic. He's a very abusive one. He beat her up for weeks following the incident. She couldn't go to school for months because of bruises all over her face and arms. She never told me that. I, I just assumed. Right. Let's continue. When you were 17 at the graduation party. Yo, 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 to the end of high school, on to bigger and better things. Whoa, that's a stump. I bet I got tricky, Jeff. <laughs> no way, dude. Watch this. <laughs> No, 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 no. You cannot tell me that I'm in trouble for underage drinking. It was a high school graduation party. No, you are not being judged because of drinking underage. The legal age for drinking was made up by humans. That has nothing to do with heaven's standards. Why don't you be patient and keep watching? Yo, 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 Tommy, 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 Tano, Tum Tum, Tommy. Yo, Jen, you didn't tell me Jane was supposed to come. Oh, uh, yeah, she's supposed to be here any minute now. She might even be here now. Jane? Is that you? Where have you been all night? Yay! Oh, Tommy's over here, too. Here. Take a drink with us. Oh, I don't drink. Oh, come on, Jane. You don't want everyone here thinking you're prude, don't prude. you? Prude. Prude. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Jane. 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 Yeah. 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 Another one. Another one. <laughs> Jane. 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 Jane.
Dear Journal, He did it again. But this time with my best friend. How could he do this to me? How could they do this to me? Especially with Anna. Anna, out of all people. They're all I have. sleeping. I wasn't. But me being me, I couldn't say anything. It was like I was frozen in shock. I felt a burning chill race down my spine and limbs and I was paralyzed. But me, I couldn't say anything. No, not what after happened last time. I mean,
What are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs>
mean, I can break out into a random musical number. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> I said, oh, I'm really gonna put on a show. <laughs> Blink and you'll miss it. Up top, down low, too slow. You're really gonna put on a show. <laughs> I'm gonna put on a show. <laughs> I want the people to see, to know that I can do this alone. I'm gonna put on a show today. <laughs> uh. And when you see me on stage, you know I'll be engaged, trying my best to give it my all. I am the cast, you see. They saved the best for last, cause I'm really gonna put on a show. <laughs> well, that cast, they would have left me, and I'm left alone, but the thought of it all now, it's not terrifying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we get it. You've done it. 
done a lot, but you're all bark and no bite. Let's see what you can really do. Let's have, how well do you know Shakespeare? Pardon? You heard me, let's have a, a shake off. Right here, right now. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Are you serious? Yes. Um, okay, yeah, fine, I can do that. But can you? Watch me, I'll go first. Then, <laughs> all together, they fell upon me, bound me, bore me thence, and in a dank and darkish vault at home, there left me and my man, both bound together, till gnawing with my teeth, my bonds in sunder, I gained my freedom, and ran hither to your grace, whom I beseech to give me ample satisfaction for these deep shames and great indignities. How is that? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 